the help and all the sponsorship. And shout out, obviously, to Mudhead and Grubhub as well. Remember to use that code TOUCHDOWN for $10 off your first order of $15 or more. Guys, we got some giveaways. We're, we're obviously getting right into Pavan and Young Kiv here right now. But let's start with some giveaways right now. We got some stuff to catch up on a little bit here. And let me see where we were in our giveaways. I'm not sure who we have yet. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much for being patient with us, guys. We had to get the food set up. And we're going to make it up to you with a double dose of giveaways here yes. got a lot of stuff to come here tonight i've got them so we're gonna do a gino atkins and a kevin zeitler right now back to back so let's be active in the chat let's be a positive force we're getting don't follow and you better follow that channel if you're not following that channel right now i do not want i don't want to hear it if you win one and you don't follow it we've told you a couple you million do times not right want to be that guy the guy who somehow some way is the one of seven thousand six hundred and eighty five to win and you're not following the channel don't be that guy you don't want to do it because when you do that if my man bugs is here i'm trying to i'm trying to to do the bugs thing tonight we're gonna to see those dice emotes all night long the re-rolls re trust me re this is a re very positive chat a lot of positive vibes but you will never see a quicker heel turn from seven thousand people than if you're not following the channel they're gonna be like re-roll right now he can't win this nope no shot so guys we have those two ultimate legends up for grabs look for those whispers out from our guy rockets are gonna need your gt your psn or your pc origin id Answer the whispers. The chat is rooting for you not to answer. I just wanted you to know that you have 7,671 people rooting for the winners not to answer. So yes. don't be that guy, like you said, Zan. How about this round two matchup? We got belt versus belt. Pavan, Pavan. I'm going to make that mistake a thousand times. A tonight. million times. Pavan. I, well, it's my fault. I'm saying Pavan now. And I started once, and it's now it's locked in. I, I mean, he, he finally corrected the community after like a year of being in it. So He's such it, a nice guy. He didn't correct us for a year. So, And Pavan going to go to the back of the end zone. And on the other side, young Kiv. Let me throw some spect on Pavin's name here real quick. He won this year's club championship 100K in our guy's pocket, right? Two-time Raiders club champion, and he's only been eligible to compete the last two years. Are you kidding me? He's already made four live events, 18 years old, uh, 18 years old from Yuba City, California. My guy in here competing against young Kiv tonight. How many 18-year-olds have made $100,000 at anything uh, it's kind of dangerous. What's he out there doing with that 100K right now? I'm wondering. He's g Get at us, man. Let us know some ads you've made to the team, if you know what I'm All saying. All I know is the young man is hungry, whether it be for KFC or an extra $1,000 that we're going to be giving away tonight. <laughs> Talking about money, we got young Kiv in here, and that man has cleared over 200K in the MCS. Yeah, ching, that, ching, 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 ching. He's, uh, he's unreal. I mean, just an absolute cyborg of a Madden player. That gun bunch offense, you know, everybody... Everybody drools when they get a chance to see him on stream because he's one of those players that stays pretty low key during the bulk of the season, perfects his craft off, basically off stream, and then he hops on stream and it's like, okay, this is what he's running. It's appointment viewing, and you see right now with him in Friday Night Football, this is an amazing matchup. Yeah, uh, Kiv's resume reads like the utter professionally. Tie he's tied with Skimbo for making the most MCS events since 2016 with 10 of them. Like I said, he's cleared over that 200K. He's a Madden 18 match. Madden Bowl Championship and the Madden 19 Seahawks Club Championship. Uh, and he's also featured, our guy's featured in the game as a coach, wandering the sidelines out there, showing everyone the beauty yeah, not of only that, that Pompadour, baby. Not only that, but if you have the physical copy of the game, I believe he's the insert on Is the DVD the, box I mean, as well. That's legend type stuff right there. And we talk about, on one hand, you've got an 18-year-old that's already won $100,000. On the other side, you've got another. I mean, he's young as well, young Kiv, with literally in the video game, literally in the physical video game, and then he's in the game itself. So what happens when he's not young anymore? Do we just go to Kiv, and then it's old Kiv when he gets old? Or do, yeah, like, how, is he just going to stay young forever? Has he found the fountain of youth with picking that gamer tag? Yeah, young Kiv, yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, elder statesman Kiv, I, I don't know. I, I mean, he's a veteran at this point. He's not that even Kiv. 
young. Yet. He's not even young at this point. I mean, he is has well, more he's young experience. To me. He's young for my age. Yeah, he's young. <laughs> he's young, but I mean, like a lot of people you're are. talking about a guy who's got more competitive Madden experience at the age of what, like 21? The then I mean, shoot, I've been playing the game for 12 years and I haven't made a live event. I mean, I I mean, I've gone to live events where you I've just sign there. up I've and never show up. One. Yeah, I've been there. But I mean, he's got more experience in in two or three years on the circuit than 99 percent of guys get in a decade. Yeah. Again, we you know that resume we read down read down it a little bit there for Kiv, and you're talking about one of the most decorated Madden players in a short amount of time and has completely been out there dominating the Madden scene, competitive scene, over the past few years. He uh, is down right now 7-3 to three with the two-minute warning here in uh, the first half. We're about to wrap up the first half here. He's on the five-yard line, though, so good news. Yeah, Young Kiv was the last of the round one games to get finished. So we're we're watching this game. It got started a little r late compared to the other round two matchups. That first round matchup with Drag was a 31-29 affair that had a disconnect. And uh, that was a, a great match that we unfortunately didn't get a chance to watch. But Pavan got here with a dominant victory over McKinley status by a score of 34 to 17, which is set up our amazing matchup here in round number two. All the other round two matchups have gone final. I'll go through some names that have cemented themselves a spot in next week's tournament. The underrated King, our Atlanta Falcons club champion, BG fam, Dad Yogurt Lurk, a.k.a. Justin, Clef the God, Canes, TNC Fancy, and Obi-Wan Shakobi. So we've got an amazing final eight as Young Kev answers quickly with the touchdown, Michael Vick. Yeah, it seemed like we just had uh, Pavan scoring just five seconds ago, and Young Kiv is already down there punching it in before we go into that. All I did was read a few names, give some scores, and the next thing I know, Kiv's scoring. That's how prolific the offense could be. Nice. Yeah, he is. Uh, it was so quick right there. Like you said, you look down for two seconds, you look up, he's in the red zone already. Talk about red zone. Our guys took full advantage that we put into the red zone for giveaways there. We kind of put them, boxed them back in the corner, put a little pressure on them with the uh, other 7,000 people vying for that giveaway but they are now both claimed so thank you for answer answering those whispers but we are not done tonight ladies and gentlemen we've not got by more a long shot. not by a long shot we've got some grubhub giveaways coming up here i think we'll uh, hold off here until after this game but we also have the ultimate legend giveaways and then of course the kahuna coming your way Again, guys, KFC has been awesome tonight. This food is delicious. These cinnamon biscuits are insane. I mean, so good that our producer, Will, literally just got up and walked in front of us and plucked one off the off the uh, the plate here in front of us. You guys can use the code TOUCHDOWN on Grubhub.com. TOUCHDOWN will get you $10 off your first order of $15 or more. Kind of parlay that with ordering a 10-piece bucket from KFC, and they'll toss in four of those cinnamon biscuits. I'm not kidding. Yeah. They are on. Can we come back to the camera for just one second, please? I mean, are you kidding me? Look at me? that. That's a, a sin. You're going to have to go to confession after eating a few of these. Are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah. like I said, about to go to sleep right now, but that might be one of the best things that I've eaten from a fast food uh, place you, in my life. <laughs> He's going back in. He's like, get us off the camera so I can dive back into those things. All right, guys, just want to say uh, congratulations to Maximum Effort One and Cole Mack. Uh, it's Coleman Ack, 1976, who won the Zeitler and the Geno Atkins. Thanks for coming out and hanging tonight in Friday Night Football with me and my guy, Zan the Man, calling some amazing Madden action right here. We've got Pavan and Young Kiv on the screen. Are you guys kidding me? Usually you would have to tune in to the big MCS matchups to see this one in the EA studio, to see these guys sitting in front of each other, sitting at uh, the Madden sticks, just throwing caps back and forth at each other. But now... Here on Friday Night Football on Mudhead, you get to see these two heavyweights trade and blow center of the field. Yeah, you wouldn't want this any other way. This would be a matchup that would normally be a finals type of matchup. Unfortunately for these guys, the random draw of the bracket had them destined for a round two. But nonetheless, this could be one of the better matchups that we see in this entire field. And that's not to short sell the rest of the field. It has been a unreal tournament so far i mean we've already seen skimbo he lost in the first round tonight yeah that was one of the biggest surprises i would have to say if once we look back whoa nice little double oh, spin my move goodness in a strip 
Oh my lord, this game is, this play is not over yet. That is amazing. Pavon comes in and gets that fumble after some amazing spin moves by Young Kiv with Randy Moss looking like a maestro out there. Looking like he might be able to break away, but that is the danger for too many moves right there, isn't it, Zan? Yeah, you break, uh, the more tackles you break, obviously your stamina goes down. That's going to leave you a little, more, a little bit more susceptible to losing the football on a strip. Kudos to Pavin right there, staying with it. Earlier we saw Clef spamming the strip button, and he gave up a lot of broken tackles. Fortunately, Pavan. Now you've said it both ways in five minutes, so you're <laughs> killing me over here. Pavin, stay on me, stay on me, because I want to get better at this. Pavin, pa yeah, there you go. There, I, I wrote it down over here. Okay, because now you're confusing me. I think it's because I confused you, so it's not actually your fault. I'll take blame on this one. <laughs> on this one. So it's all good. We got a scrambling Vic out there right now um, from, from Pavan. Pavin. <laughs> All right. Underline the van. All right. Uh, we are closing out this half, though, and I th think he is going to probably put some sort of points on the board here before we get out of this half, whether it be field goal or end zone. Uh, he's got a, about he's eight gonna seconds He's going to go down the sideline, and that's Moss touchdown. He no beats mercy. Ronnie Lott. No I'll mercy. tell you what. That is not the big dog, Ronnie Lott. That is going to be the cornerback out of position item from Christmas. That's that why was he the saw uh, that. zero chill. Uh, Ronnie Lott out there, out, out of position, cornerback. Yeah, great item if you're trying to come in under the salary cap. Very versatile. You don't even have to keep him at cornerback. You move him around. Can still play that safety position back there as well. But you saw a little bit of weakness there out of Mr. Ronnie yeah, Lott. Yeah, certainly more of a cloud flat corner. Definitely not one to go stride for stride with Randy Moss down the sideline. I mean, he's a safety in real life. So, I mean, not a guy that was running, you know, deep thirds and deep quarters down the sideline in his career. Just a uh, great recognition right there by Pavin to uh, hit that streak down the sideline. No safety help over the top. All right, guys, we're going to come back here with some uh, more give. Wow, what a pass here, actually, before we get to those giveaways on the sidelines over there to close out the half. Unfortunately, couldn't do that a little bit sooner. We've got Young Kiv now kicking off, and we've got... Some more giveaways for you guys. We've got a Grubhub giveaway. We're going to use keyword Grubhub in the chat. So go ahead and spam out that Grubhub right now. We're going to be picking a few winners to receive some Grubhub as well this evening. Patriot RB in the chat has got a question here for you, Goo. He says, with Howie Long coming out tomorrow, my question is Bruce Smith, Jason Taylor, or Howie Long? I have Bruce Smith and Taylor in the lineup now, but would you replace either of them? Yeah, I really like both of those guys you mentioned for different reasons. The Jason Taylor having that sheer speed off of the edge, right? I can't remember what his acceleration is. Uh, I believe it's over 95. So he's definitely has those first quick couple steps off the edge. You've got Bruce Smith, who's just an absolute bully on the edge as well with those power moves and that strength. Uh, I think Howie Long brings those two things together, though, Zan. So he's going to have that. I think we saw 89 acceleration, which I think is very underrated for that Howie Long. When I used his last uh, item, he sure felt more like a 95 acceleration off of the edge. But you look at that bottom row of ratings from Howie Long, that tells you the story. He's got the power move. He's got the finesse move. And he's got the... All, basically, all of them that you need down there are over uh, 91. Two of them are 98. I'm going to add... Uh, our guy Howie Long tomorrow and try him out on the squad. Big interception by Young Kiv right there. Gets him the ball back in Pavin territory. So an opportunity to make this a, a, a tight ball game. And I'm going to agree. I think that Howie Long is definitely a play for you. My one piece of advice to you, Patriot RB, is it seems like you possibly have a 4-3 D end and a 3-4 type D end. I mean, Bruce Smith could play either scheme. Uh, depending on what scheme you run, I think that Howie Long is better suited to be a 4-3 end. Uh, so you could pair him with Jason Taylor in your 4-3, but if you're playing a 3-4, Howie will play okay in that as well. So he could go with Bruce Smith just fine. You know, it also depends who's he have on the other side. What are they Absolutely. doing over there as well? Like, you want to mix and match and not just have one kind of end out there, whether it's a power end or a speed end. I like to mix them up, have a speed guy on one side, have the power guy on the other. So that's a big, uh, big factor in that question. But thanks for shooting that at us as well. We've got Young Kiv driving here on the 17-yard line. Second and two, nice little high point catch for the first down. Taking it down to the 10-yard line. We've got Kiv down by seven points right now, so he certainly needs to put one on the board here as we just crossed the four-minute mark in the third quarter. Yeah, that high point hitch to the slot receiver in this bunch has become a staple of the competitive community over the last couple months. You saw earlier, we saw the play clear out split in option, but a lot of these guys will just call a play and place the receiver on a hitch. For those that don't know, 
you hit that right trigger on a slot receiver, that'll put them up on that little hitch. Those are great against blitzes and any zone coverage that is not cover two. And we have an interception by Pavin. Wow. And there's that. I mean, he tried to throw that high point little hitch curl in the back of the end zone, but threw it in traffic. Pavin had three guys on patrol right there. Uh, it looked like young Kiv was going up for the quintessential mossing high point catch. Uh, Ill advised in that situation. And we've got our guy on the drive at the 20 yard line. First and 10 drops back the pass with Vic. And looking far downfield for... Oh, he's got a step, and that's oh. Randy with the rack gag. Randy with the rack. That was like a 60-plus yard reception right there, and that is how you come back right there. And you see right there, Kiv decided to go with the coverage. It wasn't a lot that time. He went with a different player, but still not enough speed to hang with Randy Moss. And that same player just got embarrassed by that spin move. And Pavin smartly lays down, avoids the big hit, and that's Mixon moving the chains. First and goal coming up from the three. Yeah, that's some high-level Madden and patience right there to, to, to make the decision to go down, not to take the hit stick uh, and, you know, live to fight another down here on the three-yard line where he's going to just hand it off to Mr. Mixon, take it to the one-yard and inches ever closer to pay dirt. Going to bring out that goal line package here again is Pavin. 2.27 to go in the third quarter. This marquee matchup between Pavin and young Kiv. Kiv desperately needs to hold the door right here. Hold the door. It's uh, going to be a QB sneak and Vic short. Uh, chat believes that young Kiv is in real trouble here. If Pavan is able to punch this in on third and goal from the one, I believe he's just run it two times. There's some good old blue collar Northeast Ohio football right there. That's what we do inside the five. You just run the rock. Nothing fancy. Uh, let's see if he comes out and continues that trend here on the one yard line. Vic again into the waiting arms of uh, some 10 cap lineman right there. Not sure who that was. Anytime you get production out of that's a that's a ten cap Linval Joseph right there. Put in some work. Up, power up item. Minimum Worth cap. all ten of that cap. Every single cap of that cap. Big dogs got to eat. Can't mm -hmm. teach size, and that's what Linval Joseph will give you. If you're going to spend the minimum cap, you might as well get the big guy. How about the wheels on Linval Joseph, by the way, for that return <laughs> this year, and the sunglasses and the oxygen mask? I mean, talk about highlight of the season. He definitely this year. needed the oxygen mask. So good. <laughs> So he does hold that door, and it is going to be a 10-point ball game. Plenty of time for young Kiv. High-power offense. Just got to play his game. There's there's plenty of time in this one. Yeah, that's it. It's Right now it's a question of can young Kiv settle in, not lose his cool, not lose his mind, just be very methodical here. Like you said, plenty of time left. Down tw uh, 20 to 0, but 1 minute 16 left in the third quarter. Everybody's got all the timeouts in the world. Got some decent field position, obviously, at the 25 here. Didn't uh, t bring it out of the end zone and end up at the 20 or 15 or anything like that. Way too professional to let that happen. Great coverage there by Pavin. He's going to have to roll out. He's going to look for the broken play, and he will. He'll find Derrick Henry. He'll break a tackle and fall down at midfield. See right there, Kiv, 15 to 20. That's the that's the completion percentage we're looking for, but the two interceptions is pretty uncharacteristic of Seamus Kivlin. Yeah, that was a nice little toss there to Derrick Henry out of the backfield. Derrick Henry in pass protection this time. He needed about three more Derrick Henrys back there in pass protection on that one as Pavan, uh, Pavan brings the heat and takes down Mr. Vic. This 3-3-5 defense has turned into more of a aggressive blitzing defense over the course of the year. And, of course, one of the benefits of the 3-3-5 is your ability to play safeties at the linebacker position. It's been the meta. And then safeties can cross, man. They can man up any player on either side of the field. So kind of using the safeties at linebacker allows you to create some combo coverages that other formations will not afford you. Yeah, in unlimited ultimate team right now, you're starting to get those linebackers, though, that act very much as safety. So, like you said, it's a cap kind of move. You don't necessarily see that in Unlimited because of the skill level of some of these linebackers we're seeing out there with 96 plus speed. What a catch by the, uh, it was Randy Ma or Terrell Owens coming down on the sideline with a one-handed grab all the way to the 24-yard line just as we move into the fourth quarter here. Everybody put up your fours in the chat. It is crunch time. Young Kiv down 10. All timeouts and five minutes to work with. And he's in field goal range. If he takes care of the ball, there will be a lot of pressure on Pavin on his next drive. So down inside the 10 now, Jerry Rice moving the chains. We're seeing young Kibbs start to get going. He's going to need to stop regardless. 
I'll tell you what right here. This is the spot in competitive Madden that is tough. If he gets the touchdown here, puts him down three, that's a lot of pressure on Pavin. But he's a battle-tested young man as Terrell Owens with the touchdown. So we've seen a lot of T.O. tonight. The story has been Mr. M-O-S-S and Mr. T. Oh, just coming down with those big one-handed high point catches. Big body receiver out there, like I said, so he can go up against some of those smaller safeties and really make them pay the price body on body. Ultimate legends that were revealed tonight, Howie Long and Barry Sanders. Dude, that Barry looks like the best halfback in Ultimate Team right now. The I'm 97 break tackle on Barry is so big. I'm already like drooling to see what VY Electrify. I'm not sure if he's in our field next week. I know that uh, Slump in the, the background's out there sending invites, but uh, he said that he's on the squad already. So if, if VY plays next week, we'll see that Barry Sanders live in out action. Out there, yeah. Can't wait for that. Can't wait for that. Barry, like I was saying a little bit earlier, just one of those guys, so slippery. 97 break tackle, so covered in grease. You see somebody like Mike Allstott somehow come out with 86 break tackle. I'm not sure how that exactly happened, but you've got your guy, Barry Sanders, out there that's going to have the speed gonna have the jukes but then have the break tackle nice pass to davis over the middle of the field no one in sight huge gain down to the 44 yard line clock is still ticking and churning here in the fourth quarter i don't hate the defensive approach by kiv right there you may say well you just gave up 30 yards what are you talking about zan what i'm talking about right here is that kiv is needing to play for a turnover right here and if he's not going to get that turnover he needs to get him down inside that 15 10 yard range where it's really tough to score and he'll take his three but you don't want to give up too, too much clock by playing stingy just play aggressive try to force you know that pressure burst pipes turnover and try to get the ball back regardless quickly yeah a lot of putting the pressure on your opponent at this high level madden is part of the the mind game as we put it out there right so a lot of your decisions to put the pressure on your opponent is what we're seeing here uh, tonight in a lot of different situations what comes with some high level madden steve in the chat says he bets money the box of chicken is still full i'll tell you what if i could eat right now are While we, casting, I would be. We filled our faces during that break. I ate like so three fast. pieces of chicken in four minutes. So <laughs> <laughs> that bucket, the off the camera bucket, is completely empty. Meanwhile, we're like we're like stuffing our faces in the chats. Like this is a long break. When are they going to get back? I want giveaways. Yeah, what are these Come guys back doing? Here. We, we try to eat. We try to eat in our little two minute breaks. Sometimes we extend two into ten, but. Between, we make up for it with giveaways. Between the mashed potatoes and the biscuits, it's bedtime almost over here. Thank God we have some sweet Madden action to keep us awake <laughs> over here, man. But Young Kid versus Pavan is the draw of the night so far. We got Joe Mixon out there putting in work. As we saw, Drini make one Joe Mixon very famous in the MCS. Uh, uh, Joe actually tweeted out during that competition. I don't know if you saw that and says, yo, Drini, I see you putting in work with my boy, with my boy out there. How about Drini? He's out there. He's living the life this year. How about it? He's won a belt. Uh, he's out there playing Madden with Michael, Michael Irving. Michael Irving? Just hanging out with Michael Irving. No big deal. Trying know? to cure cancer out there with that uh, that charity stream that he did today. So shout outs to, to Drini. I'm sure we'll see him back next week. But guys, we do have plenty of giveaways. We're going to re-roll as neither of our winners claim. So whoever in the chat was saying that you guys announced giveaways and did nothing, that's because we did roll them. They just didn't get claimed. They they did, and we have we actually do have two Grubhub winners as well. Oh, wait, no. Those are the two that didn't claim that you're talking about right there. Yeah, so let's get some re-roll in the chat right there. Guys, we try to give these uh, winners the opportunity to claim. And, uh, yeah, so sorry we're sitting on our hands over here a little bit. But uh, it's time to re-roll. Let's get those dice in the chat. We're going to be giving away positional heroes, Grubhub codes, Ultimate Legends, and the big kahuna at the end of the night. I mean, we're trying to juggle a lot of stuff up here. Meanwhile, we've got an amazing game of Madden hanging out up here. I can't really peel my weight and my eyes away from it right now. 20 to 17. Uh, Kiv in a little bit of trouble here with two minutes left and all the timeouts on the board. Second down and 13, though, that nice stop on first down. He's got to he's got to string together some stops right here and preferably hold on to those timeouts. He's going to need them on his next offensive drive. But Pavin knows the same thing. He's going to throw that hitch and get back a chunk of that 13. It's going to be third down and medium here for the Jags. Time still just ticking, ticking, ticking. Every second feeling like a minute right now to Mr. Kiv. How do you comment dice? Uh, those are sub emotes, D-Freak. So our, our Mutthead TV subs have those emotes. 
bunch to the field side here for Pavin. Third down and three. This is a huge play for young Kiv. Is that Vernon Davis in there at tight end? Watch that Vernon going up the seam right there. Great coverage oh, underneath him. by Kiv. He's going to ad lib, looking for the break open. And we'll see about that spot. He's going to pick up three, but I think it's going to be short. Yeah, fourth and one right there. Zan just came up. I mean, literally, I thought it was going to be fourth and inches, if anything. Uh, so no field goal unit, though, here. So this is a big play coming out. What do you think about this move? It's tough. You know Kiv's got offense. He's got that clutch factor. I think in, against anyone else, take your three. Against yeah. young Kiv, you've got to go for the kill shot. Shytown in the chat says, watch for the fake. We'll see. We saw a fake know. last night in the community chat. it. Big fourth down and one here. Moss in motion to the short side of the field. I'm sorry, to the uh, the wide side of the field. Motioning in short, though. Uh, it's all it's all a ruse. It is. He wanted to see uh, if the defense was going to give him what he wanted, and it did not. Oh, still no field goal I was yet. about to question him taking the timeout. I was going to say take the delay a game, but now I understand why he took the timeout because he's going to leave the offense on the field. Yep. So he's going to call a different play here. Yeah, so True just coming out and waiting for young Kiv to show his hand on that defensive formation. Uh, takes the timeout and comes out with a different look here. Let's see if he can convert with one yard to go. So he flips that formation to the wide side of the field. I'm still, I think we're going to be looking for that slant to Moss over the middle here. Oh, he throws a hitch in there. What a great route combination right there. And he picks up the first down, Pavin. So I'm going to tell you what happened right there. He motioned in Moss from wide to slot when he was a solo receiver. Yep. He placed him on a hitch, flipped the formation, which kept him on his hitch, and then motioned him across on the hitch and was able to motion snap it. Great route design by Pavin right there. Yeah, he had me looking at the left side of the field, and I think you there, the way you were calling that shot, uh, the whole time came back to the right side after a, a great little disguise there and gets the first down, continues on the live another day, seven-yard line, second and goal, almost down to the one-minute mark. Uh, Pavon being very stingy with the ball right now. Uh, if he can just hold on to this thing and just keep working the clock with a mix of Joe Mixon and that receiver core, young Kiv is in trouble. 108 left. So yeah, last Kib, time Kib's going to have an opportunity. It's just going to hinge on this play right here. He has to keep Pavin out of the end zone to give himself a shot. Because Pavin will most certainly take three if he doesn't convert here. A little cut back by Mixon, but waiting in the wings is young Kiv for the tackle right there. Fourth and goal time just ticking, ticking, ticking away. I can. I bet uh, Kim in, the chat. in his mind right now. Not true. It's not Pavan. He corrected us at the uh, the MCS. That's where we're struggling through his his new name. It's Pavan. I've rewritten it three different ways <laughs> on my pad over here. <laughs> he really has. He's got this note card that he's rewritten Pavan. Three. It's like how it's still. I'm not grasping it. I will get it by the end of the night tonight, especially since our guy Pavan. Pavin is moving on. I, that was a pump fake. I was totally joking that time. Uh, is moving on to the next bracket here. Oh, Young that, Kiv. Not yet, though. It's only a six-point ball game. We've seen Wilder. Kiv has got a shot here. I hate to count him out right now, but it's just the no timeouts right there that's going to make it really tough. We could see a huge play uh, to make it turn around, but our guy's got to do it right now. Down by six. Young Kiv. There's somebody in this field that can get down the field and get down the field quickly. It is young Kiv in this bunch offense. He's going to flip it to the other side. Again, though, we talk about the, the, the bunch offense. A lot of these guys lab their offense from the hash marks. Goes to that hard count. Try to get him off sides. Unable to draw the encroachment call. And there's the block shed. Oh, he gets it away. Shed. That's going to be an incomplete pass. Wow, that's huge. Okay, that is big that it was incomplete instead of the big loss of yardage there. Um, Kiv with 30 seconds left here in the fourth. Can he pull a rabbit out of the hat? I've seen him do it before. Five-man rush from Pavin. He's going to find the receiver over the middle. He's willing to give that up, though. The clock's ticking. Down yeah, to 20. Great little pass over there to advance to the 44-yard line. This clock is not stopping. Of course, Kiv out of timeouts from that last defensive stand. Tick-tock, tick-tock, tick-tock. Five-man rush here for Pavin. 
rolling out, and he's going to get that away. Really lucky that one wasn't a sack. Got back to back. Uh, ball knocked out before the tackle. So uh, back up to the line of scrimmage in the 44 yard line. Still second and 10 for Young Kiv. Nine seconds left in the entire game here. Let's enjoy this one, guys. I'll tell you who's watching intently right now is the underrated king. Probably taking notes as he's gotten a chance to watch the majority of this ball game. He's awaiting the winner in round three. We do have a couple of round three games underway currently in one final. TNC Fancy over Jacoby 21-0. BG Fam versus Justin and Clef. I believe that game just went final. Get you a score here shortly as Ant Cap updates. Yeah, it looks like we're just waiting uh, for the results of this game to move into round three. It looks like a lot of those are already set. Like you're saying, I'm looking down here at Clef versus Canes. Can't wait to see that one and hear what that's happening. And happened. that one just went Did final. Did it just went final? I tried to re re um, refresh over here. 20 to 9. Wow. Canes moves on to the semifinals with a 20 to 9 victory over defending champion Clef. So now we're going to have a TNC Fancy versus DNA Canes semifinal. Yeah, Clef had the bullseye, though, on his back. Uh, so c coming out with the championship last season, I'm sure the guys were gunning for or last season, last week. I'm sure the guys were, wow. It did, oh, my gosh, and for a second, I thought it was it. it, dude. Yo, I thought I thought Kiv was coming down with that for a second. I about had a heart attack. Oh, my gosh. Game over. 